Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary. I'm here this evening to do the general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of August 21st through to the 27th. If you're new to the channel, welcome. That was Bobby Cartola, fortune teller, which was from back in the 50s. He was a teen idol. Um, he's Canadian as well. And he passed away about a year ago, right across the pond here, where he made his home at in Nova Scotia. Okay, this is for Sagittarius. Doing back-to-back -back readings, I hope I don't mess up. I usually do. I'm sorry ahead of time. But this is for Sagittarius. Okay, what's in store for Sagittarius for this week? Spirit, please bring forth any messages. Love, health, wealth, romance friendships, anything of importance that needs to be brought to the attention of Sagittarius. What can they anticipate to come at them during the week? Thank you, thank you for this. That's it right there, too. Ooh, baby, here we go. All right. Very first card at the beginning of your week, Sagittarius. The lovely one, the star. She represents hope. Beautiful card to start your week off with. Middle of the week, the Hermit, Contemplation. Very interesting. Mid to end week, the High Priestess, Intuition. Oh, Intuition's coming to the forefront for you guys this week, I see. That's what we see. Yes, we do. Okay. The Star, representing hope for you. This is a beautiful card day to start your week off with. Um, this, this card brings to the attention and says to you that if you've had to work through heartache recently, conflict, anything, you know, that emotionally disturbed you in any way, shape, or form, that there are lessons learned from all of this and all your hard times, and now you are being left and being directed and being given feelings of hope and optimism. This is a beautiful card for this. 
Um, the, the, the tarot is here to tell you and spirit is here to tell you as well. You need to place more trust within the universe and know that you're fully protected and that you're guided to happier times at this time. How beautiful is that for you? This card reveals growth through healing from the past. I just heard maturity, growing up, becoming more mature. What bothered you a while back and ate at you for years and years and years, holding old grudges and old hurts. Now you're growing and you're realizing epiphanous moments, light bulb moments, you know, and that shows a sign of maturity for some of you. Um, there's also going to be um, a lot of freedom from old patterns and old habits, and you're going to be feeling more whole and more fulfilled and more grounded at this time as well. This is a great card for you guys. Card is here and Spirit is here to tell you you are on the right path. This card showing up for you is a sure sign that everything's going to be just fine. The advice of the card is to follow your heart. Respect your inner knowing. Yes, always respect your inner knowing, your intuition. All these three cards zero in on your intuition. That's what's riding high and in the forefront for this reading for you, Sagittarius. Trust that the universe is going to bring you exactly what it is that's needed for you just in time when you need it. Don't worry about that. Um, if you're unsure, if you're overwhelmed, put everything into the hands of the universe and trust in, that everything is going to be fine. Your keywords are creativity and dreams, intuition, healing, a spiritual path, rebirth, and beautiful end word wishes. Your second card in the middle of the week is the hermit. It's all about contemplation. Some of you are going off to, into your gardens, okay, for quiet time reflection um, and meditation. This card is a card of reflection, of quiet, um, and these things are needed now because they're important for you. You need to spend some time alone now to process anything that's happened recently. Um, there have been some subtle undercurrents of change going on. Here's the funny thing about life. Sometimes the biggest changes in our lives do not come in with a big bang, you know, they come in quietly, subtly. You feel the undercurrent. If you have intuition and you're listening to it, you feel that coming. You feel, you feel, you feel the the current is changing beneath you. You know it's coming, and you sense it. Um, for some of you, you you you've been looking forward to some time alone, so you're you're happy to hear this. If you haven't already planned it off, you're looking for some quiet time. You're craving for that because you do need a long time to. To juggle your thoughts on what's going on, to prioritize. Um, some of you um, may be on a retreat that was imposed upon you, a quiet time being left alone, and you're feeling a little bit lonely, but just know that this is not going to last forever, this feeling of loneliness. This is something that's a must, and it's in your better interest. The universe has placed this upon you. Under the hermit's influence, know that you are being guided by your inner light, and you will not be alone forever. Also, you should distance yourself from overwhelming relationships at this time. It's nothing, that's something that you don't need, all right? That's a, I don't need that kind of crap in my life right now. I don't need that kind of, those kind of people in my life right now. Could be people that you care about, you love, about, you love, you respect. Excuse me. And all the good things that go with that. But, you know, we can see people for who they who they truly truly are. At all times, we can love them and not like them. That always comes to the forefront as well. Um, so I'm getting something on that with the people. Overbearing, loud, intrusive. These are the people you need a little break from, and you need to pull back a little bit for your own sake, for your own sanity. Um, you're not going to get no quiet time with people like this around you. This isn't going to happen. So you do need to just put a bit of distance between yourself and, and personalities that are like that. The advice of the card, embrace this time of being alone. For some people, they never get time alone. And by geez, they'd be grateful to have it. Embrace the time and know that this is, this is, a, this is a gift. This is a special gift for you to spend time with yourself. Um, contemplation and healing are needed. To find the answers that you're seeking and know yourself more deeply. Your keywords are thought, retreat, travel, inner journey, 
that's really jumping off this card here for you, Sagittarius. Solitude, seclusion, and protection. You don't need to feel lonely when you're alone. That's that's highlighted for some of you as well. Not everybody handles that well. Some people can't stand to be alone. They just can't. They they need to hear human activity. They need to hear voices around them at all times. But really, how do you find yourself if you never spend time with yourself? How do you know yourself? That's something for you to think about. There's some food for thought. The last card, your midweek in through your into your weekend end of week. And it is the high priestess, and she's all about intuition. That's what she's all about. This reading is really on that. Um, this is the learning and teacher card, all right? And it's all about spiritual guidance. Um, the card is here. Spirit is here to tell you you're ready now to open up spiritually. Did you hear that? You're ready. You're ready to do it, all right? To throw yourself into that. New educational courses for some. Also needing... Um, to spend again what's going on Sagittarius this is two cards back to back all right out of 78 and they've paired up here and they tag teamed okay on this spending a long time that's really being reinforced maybe you should listen up here maybe you should think about this maybe you should go off somewhere and take a little walk by yourself and think about all this it's being pushed um, it really highlighted strong obviously um, there's something to be found in the alone time for you. This is going to connect you also to your, your inner self, spending time alone. For some of you right now, too, this card always comes up to highlight. Your intuition is, your, your intuition is trying to tell you and get your attention to tell you that you're picking up on something around you in your environment. Something's up, something's going on, it's being kept secret. Not necessarily from you, but you're not being made privy to it either. Um, and somebody could take you into their confidence and say, Psst, come here, I gotta go, let's go for a walk. I got something I gotta tell you. Um, there's something about to come. Like I said about earlier about the currents, you can feel the currents of change, you feel them, you, your intuition tells you. There's some kind of a shift going on and a change. Um, and that's affecting this, that there's something up, there's something going on, someone taking you into their confidence, um, giving you a bit of a heads up. And right now the advice of the card is that maybe you need to become more of an observer right now. Because people tend to put their guard down if they don't think anybody's watching, if they're feeling more comfortable. If you're being really quiet, standing off to the sidelines in any situation at all, um, people can tend to forget you're even there and your true colors come out and the guard goes down. You may be seeing something I just heard kind of shocking, a shockwave effect of some kind. You're going to see or hear about something um, that is shocking for you. So, um, You feed into your spiritual interest right now. Listen to your intuition. Those of you looking for spiritual teachers or more education in the spiritual realm, you're going to find the right place to be and the right place to go or even find the, the, the right teacher, actually. The keywords for this card are wishes and secrets, intuition, teaching, spirituality, love, vision, and dreams. And that, my dear Sagittarius, that was that was really short, quick, sweet, and to the point. Intuition's being highlighted here. Growth, inner knowing, digesting changes and information are coming forward for you, Sagittarius. And there's nothing bad there. Change isn't bad. There's just change coming. Um, so thank you very much for being here. I hope this resonated with most of you. I hope you got something from it. Um, I hope it helps you along through your week as well. Um, if for those of you that haven't subscribed to the channel and you're brand new, please subscribe. All subscriptions are free here. Um, and you can leave any time you like. Also, if you like this reading, I do offer the service of private readings. Information is found down below this video window. In the show more section, read through once, grab my email, ship it off, and I'll get you taken care of ASAP. Um, also, 
thank you to all subscribers right across the board and another thank you for the uh, separate thank you for the youtubers subscribers that are blazing a trail into Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Facebook a very closed private group where you can feel comfortable and feel safe with like-minded people just like yourself we're all one in there it's a good place to be it's fun it's enlightening it's loving and we're grounded it's very very real you can find Bay of Fundy Fortunes not just on Facebook and on YouTube but on Blogspot on Google in Google and on Twitter as well um, I think that's it for now. The rest of you, if you're ever looking for me, you can always find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes or walking on the beach down below along the water's edge that hold the mightiest, highest tides in the world, the beautiful and bountiful Bay of Fundy. And I'm always keeping one eye on the tides because I'm a high tide junkie. Therefore, you can always catch me waiting on the next high tide. Thank you for being here, Sagittarius, and I wish you a good week. Hope to see you back next week. Good night for now.